long time no makeup tutorial i haven't done a makeup tutorial in so long and now i'm doing one it's just nice to sit back down chill relax get ready together this is my everyday makeup tutorial everyday makeup that i like to do quite a few things in this video are from tiktok shop so i'm going to try and link them down below for you i just feel like it's going to be much more easier and as i do mention in the video i do also have a discount code for look fantastic look fantastic which is lfsa rian i'm going to leave it on the screen for you because my name is so bloody difficult to spell as well as down below in the description box okay skin prep basically store all of my favorite things in this makeup bag here um there's quite a few things in here i don't use everything anyway you don't care about that i'm actually just going to start off with this lip balm really quickly this is really boring i know i'm going to start off with some moisturizer first i'm going to use the vitamin enriched moisturizing primer this is from primark and it's four pound fifty all the girlies know about this i love putting this on right before my makeup i just feel like it's that perfect like dewy base is it cheeky if i call dad and ask him to make me a cup of tea so me you're british without telling me you're british can i have a cup of tea please Moisturising primer has a nice like tacky finish to it as well. I don't tend to do anything to my brows. That's not me being a pick me, that's me telling you that I am shit at doing brows. I'm shit at plucking them, shaping them, adding shape to them, definition. I am rubbish. I did recently buy the pink honey. This is the Wonder Whip and then the original Super Hold Honey Glue. They are amazing. Do I have the patience to do this today? Or most days? No, I'm just gonna be honest with you. No, I don't. They are amazing products. And obviously this one is super easy to use. It's got a little hole in the center and then it does come with a spoolie so you can just dip the spoolie in there. And the Wonder Whip is basically a pomade, which is amazing as well. And I did get mine in the shade light brown. As you can see, that is pretty dark, but because I'm blonde, I don't like my, my brows to be super dark, but yeah. I'm not gonna use those today i can't be asked instead i've got another product that i don't particularly like everybody raves about this i can't get behind it the only reason i'm going to use it today is because it's quick and it's going to keep my brows a little bit up i don't know i feel like when i put this through my brows i feel like i've completed a step probably haven't i'm just going to use this this is the got to be glued for brows and edges gel i mean it's all right i could not do soap brows with it though i think i've attempted to do soap brows like 94 million times with this and that looks nice but they don't stay like that within 4.3 seconds they're gonna fall straight down so all i'm gonna do is just brush them up i'm gonna do this before my foundation and then i'll probably do it a little bit at the end as well just to see if i can try and spike them up a little bit more but yeah for brows that is literally it i'm gonna prime this is the beauty crop brightening pipe primer brightening primer this is the vitamin c long lasting primer by the beauty crop i really like this and it smells exactly like oranges it just it's really fresh it's nice and tacky on your skin but nothing like too much i feel like it does actually make my makeup last all day you also don't need a lot with this product when i first bought it i was doing like a pump on each section of my face that was way too much i feel like it just adds a little bit of a healthy glow to your skin as well i would definitely wear this on no makeup days just where i want something to fill in my pores a little bit and also give me a nice bit of glow. I do put this underneath my eyes as well because I feel like it acts as a hydrating primer at the same time. Why are my brows actually standing up after I completely slated that product? My foundation, I've been mixing it up a little bit. Sometimes I'll use this, which is the e.l.f. Halo Liquid Glow Filter. Or I'll use the L'Oreal True Match. Or I will use... I really like this one from Bourjois, but it's discontinued, unfortunately, and I really don't have a lot of this left. It is like the perfect shade for me. This is 51 Vanilla, so if you can get your hands on this anywhere, I'd highly recommend. And this is a serum foundation as well, so it's really dewy. It doesn't have a lot of coverage, but I feel like it also helps your skin at the same time. L'Oreal True Match, oldie but a goodie. I feel like everybody still absolutely adores this product, and for really valid reasons as well. This shade is too dark for me though. So with that, I'm going to go with the e.l.f. Liquid Glow Filter. This is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish. Now, I don't have £40 to just be spending on something that is basically a glowy primer. So instead I bought this, which was £10. Have I tried the Charlotte Tilbury one to compare? No. But I've heard people say that they basically are identical. And before you come for me for the colour match, I'm a pasty gal. And this is the lightest shade that they do. They either e.l.f. need to develop a lighter shade, or I need to get a tan. I vouch for number two. The tools that you use, in my opinion, really matter. So this is the Coco Cosmetics by Chloe Marshmallow Sponge. Look at how squishy this is. I'm gonna get my beauty blender out. 
Do you know what I mean? I just feel like this is so much better at doing your makeup. And it also like covers a large surface area at the same time. So it basically blends it out within three seconds for you. I've never really been a brush kind of girl for foundations or anything like that. I think ever since my mum and dad bought me a beauty blender when I was like, I was like 15, just got my first job and then for Christmas they bought me a beauty blender. And since then I just haven't gone back. I think they just give the best finish. And they're really quick and easy as well. So I am going to use that e.l.f. Halo Liquid Glow as a foundation. This is just going to be my overall foundation base. Definitely doesn't look perfect. You can still see imperfections I've got coming through. I have turned the smoothing filter down on my camera, but it doesn't look like I have. So I just want to let you know that there is still a lot of like imperfections on my face, whether you can see them or not. And to be honest, I'm okay with that because my skin looks like skin. I'm really here just to add like a little bit of warmth to my face and not actually cover too much up also got some new brushes normally i'd use oh my god not the one that i've been using for my face mask wow that isn't even like <laughs> that's embarrassing these brushes are a mixture of morphe beauty bay and also like eco tools as well and then some little cheap ones thrown in here but there's nothing better than actually getting some new brushes now this is why you need to go on tiktok shop i got a 16 piece brush set from made by mitchell so you've got the face brushes You've got loads of little eye brushes. 16 piece was 170 pound, now 40. Haven't used these yet either, so I'm gonna use these in today's video, but I will leave a link in the description box down to a video on my TikTok that's got that product linked to it, if that makes sense. I don't think I can directly link the product, or else I would. I've been loving two concealers at the moment. This one is the NYX Born to Glow Concealer. I use this on an everyday basis when I'm like, going to work and things like that and I don't need too much coverage I literally just want to slap a load of makeup on my face and go to work and then for like the other days if I'm feeling a little bit bougie and I want more coverage this is the HMB Cosmetics Concealer in the shade 0.5N love 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 this concealer it really brightens up underneath your eyes and it literally covers anything that you need it to cover this is also on tiktok shop anything that i mentioned here that's from tiktok shop i will try and link down below for you also has like a huge doe foot applicator and literally i use the tiniest amount of this and that is why it's all over the inside of the pot itself because i literally scrape it off so i do think i'm going to use this one today you literally just need the tiniest amount of this and this is why I like it so much. Also, I've got a discount code for Look Fantastic as well. A few of these things might actually be on Look Fantastic, I'm not entirely sure. But if there is anything on Look Fantastic that you want in and you want 20% off, make sure you use my code which is LFSA Rian. I'm going to leave that on the screen for you. I literally just realised, because I keep talking about TikTok shop, and there's literally so many other online retailers that you can go and shop on. But also, not everyone has TikTok. Get the double chin like an actual thumb that'll do donkey that'll do for cream bronzer i'm going to use the prime light foundation and contour stick in the shade chai all of the girlies know about this thanks to jordan lipscomb she literally uses this really just later in all of her videos and i think it were only about six months ago now i picked it up and i haven't used anything else since it's so creamy and it's really affordable as well and it just blends out into like the nicest bronzy shade ever i mean mine's a little crusty but it's fine i like to go from the top of my ear you know, you can see like the dip in your cheekbone, but I sort of like to go on top of that dip and not in it. I am not a pro at nose contour either. The reason I don't like to go into the hollows of my cheeks when I'm applying contour is because when you blend, it already falls down like a little bit lower than you've actually put it. So my trick is putting it a little bit higher and then as you blend it, it all like falls into place. That's my theory anyway. So I'm going to use the Made by Mitchell MF4 brush. I feel like this is going to be the perfect angle brush to really get into where all this cream contour is. This is the first time I'm using this brush as well, so first impressions. I feel like it's blending it out really, really nice. And it's not soaking up the product, it's just blending. I really like how this is looking so far. Yes, yes, I love this. Ooh, can you see why I like this cream contour now as well? Like, obviously this blends out like an actual dream. I feel like the brush is definitely helping with that as well, but just the colour, the actual undertone of it. It's not too orange, but it's definitely not too cool tone either. I mean, best believe I'm going to have a white line where my headphones being when I take it off. I was left over on the brush, I'm just going to run this through my eyelids. Just adds that little bit of definition. By the way, this makeup look, I can literally do this in like 15 minutes and then I'm straight out of the door. Obviously it's going to take me longer because I'm talking and showing you how I do it, but yeah. This literally takes me 
20 minutes max. Bronzer is on. She looks nice. For blushes, I'm always torn between these two. So this is made by Mitchell Posey Rosie, and then this is Doll Beauty Dollar Day. I love Dollar Day. Just took a right bloody gash out of it. As I was saying, I really like Dollar Day, but I wish I could have got more of a brighter pinker shade. Just because this one doesn't necessarily show up on my skin tone. I mean, it's nice and subtle, so if you're a kind of girl where you want just a subtle blush with a bit of a glow, then you're definitely going to like this one. And then the Made by Mitchell one, I don't know if I've been using it wrong, but sometimes I feel like it picks up the foundation and everything that's underneath the actual blush, like it sort of takes that away. I don't actually know which one I, I want to go for. I'm going to go natural today, I think. I think I'm going to use this one. I'm also going to use one of the brushes by Made by Mitchell. Watch me get like a shitload of colour payoff now. This is the MF1, it's more like a dome shape, kabuki style brush I want to say. Yeah, I was using this blush wrong for so, so long. Why did I just rhyme three times? I've literally given myself the ick. I'm going to take this up into the corner of my eye. I just feel like it blends in a lot easier that way. Time to set because I look like a greasy mess. Anybody remember when I used to use the beauty crop religiously? like when I first started my YouTube channel. I have recently been trying out some more of their things. So this is another thing from their Vitamin Babe line and it's the powder in the shade Pink 6. Love, love, love this shade. It's a bit of a pinky tone. It's nothing too scary anyway. It. it looks like quite scary in the actual tin, but it just counteracts like any discoloration you might have underneath your eyes. And then also the blush just blends in seamlessly. Do you know how you don't have like a line between where your concealer and your blushes? This just like melts it all in together. I'm just gonna blend out my under eyes first to make sure there's no creases there. I'm gonna take my True Well Powder Puff. I did get this in a pack of two. I really wish I got a mini one because I feel like this is too larger in charge on my face but this and this is an elite combination together i rave about this on my tiktok so many times i'm just gonna pat some out it's got like a little cover here so that it doesn't fall out and then i'm gonna put some of that into the cap you really don't need a lot of this a little bit goes a very long way i'm gonna take my trig well powder puff and make sure i get the sides with that powder as well i don't want the sides of this to be dry i really like to work the puff in there as well and then I'm just going to look up and very, very lightly set underneath my eyes. And I think already you can see the difference between the two. This has just completely smoothed out everything, whereas this one doesn't look bad, obviously, but it, it could look better. And I really like to get this around the nose because I am an oily mess. And the first place to go oily is definitely around the nose. And then any excess that's left on the puff, I'm just going to push this into the rest of my skin. I just feel like this locks everything into place so well, but you don't look powdery, you don't look cakey. It literally is a makeup dream. I just knocked everything over on my table. <laughs> bronzer. I love a bit of bronzer. I think I'm actually more of a blush girl than bronzer girl these days, to be honest. I don't actually have a brush in that Made by Mitchell set that I want to use, so I'm just going to use this one from Morphe. It's the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH04. And then for bronzer, this is the Fenty Skin Sunstalker in the shade Island Tink. She's very loved, as you can tell, apparently just on one side. But I like getting a little bit of this and just stamping it. Very like... Not even that even, just stamp it wherever around my face. I don't like to be too precise with this. I think that's the beauty of like everyday makeup. If you don't want, then you don't have to be too precise with it. You can literally just chuck it on and call it a day. Whereas if I'm going on a night out, I will literally bake. I will chisel out my cheekbones, loads of blush. But yeah, for my everyday makeup, recently I've started doing it like this, which is a lot more natural for me. To some people, this is not going to be natural at all. If it's not, go cry about it. <laughs> too many people have told me I wear too much makeup. I don't care. <laughs> have a day off. The powder blush, I'm going to go in with the same that I used earlier, but obviously in the powder formula. This is Doll Beauty Blush in the shade Dollar Day again. This one is just chef's kiss. It's got so many like little different iridescent colours in it. It's basically got a gorgeous golden glow. Bloody love this. I got this in a duo actually. I got the cream and the powder for £20. Also on TikTok shop. I know, I keep saying TikTok shop. I'm sorry. I'm annoyed with myself as well. I'm going to use the Made by Mitchell MF3. I don't know if I'm using these in the correct order. I don't know if there is a correct order. I love it so much. I always put blush on the highest point of my face. Just because it's got like a golden sheen to it. So when I turn my head, you're able to see the glow. And then I will just slightly bring it down towards the apples of my cheeks. But because I want to like lift my face shape, I definitely keep it up here. Mostly. 
it looks like it's gonna storm outside where is the bloody sunshine i don't want to do mascara just because i'm really liking how my skin's looking so i don't want the mascara to be like poof and overpower i'll show you three that i've been living recently so this one is from pixie and it's their large lash mascara i love this for like natural days because it's got a very chunky wand but it doesn't like do too much to your lashes so you know when you just want like a little bit of something this is perfect for that l'oreal telescopic i feel like everybody knows about this mascara for a really good reason i've stopped using this mainly because i've run out i love it i love how thick and long it makes your lashes look and then if anyone is on the hunt for a really cheap but good mascara this is the essence laugh princess that this was three pound fifty the only thing i will say about this is it's a little bit dry so you have to be patient with it and keep like working it through your lashes and it also doesn't come off i will double cleanse my skin and this thing does not budge anywhere that's the only annoying thing about it but apart from that it's cheap it's good i think i'm just gonna put like, the tiniest bit on like not even going on my roots just more on the ends of my lashes because i do need to film a few tiktok videos and i don't want my eyes to like disappear <laughs> a lip combo trick that I absolutely love. This is the P. Louise Board and Pass Lip Liner in the shade. I believe it's Takeoff. It did come in a kit, but I love this so much. It's like a deep brown. I do have another alternative, which I will show you as well. This is Primark Toffee. I think Primark lip liners are like £1.50. They're really not expensive whatsoever. However, that obviously does need a sharpen. In the centre, I love adding Made by Mitchell Blush in the shade Posy Rosy. I feel like it just gives like a, a good contrast between the brown and the pink i actually think i'm going to use this lip liner today which is from primark again in the shade toffee i like to start on the cupid's bow basically doing a straight line and the same on the lower lip as well my lips are not symmetrical whatsoever i like to make my lips look a little bit more even with lip liner instead of additional filler i have tried the additional filler but my body still just metabolizes this side a lot more so this is the way that I like to fill my lips in. I'm just going to go at the sides of the bottom of my lip now as well. And then I'm going to press my lips together and that's going to get me the shape for the top. And then I basically connect everything up. And that's like the quickest way to do lip liner I feel as well. Because these lip liners are just so creamy that you can literally do anything you want with them. And then to go straight on top, I'm going to use this lip balm I got from Pixie that I also use at the start of this video. I just feel like it adds a little bit more moisture back into the lips. And that is officially the makeup all completed. Let me know in the comment section down below which was your favourite product, what you think about these little brushes that I've got here, what you think about TikTok Shop, because there is a lot of things surfacing on TikTok Shop at the moment that I feel like everyone is really liking. That's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. As always, if you did, make sure you smash the video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below for more, and I will see you all in my next video.